give us a thought on winning? Uh, it feels great. Uh, I love senior golf. There are so many good players, and they all want to win. But it's it's a very friendly competition, and the guys are all great. So playing playing with senior golf with with so many great guys and so many good players is just a lot of fun. And to to come out on top is just it just happened to be my day, and I, I feel very fortunate. And and it was just it was really enjoyable. Describe the meaning of being only the second player to win the Delaware Senior Amateur. <laughs> Well, that feels pretty good. Uh, I have never won a Golf Association of Philadelphia event. Uh, I have won a Delaware event in the past, but to win the two of them in the same year is phenomenal. And uh, there are so many good players in Philly. To come out on top is just is just very difficult and very challenging. So um, it, it feels great. It just it, you know it, it makes my golf year. It's a story I'll I'll a year I'll remember forever. Uh, the you won the Delaware Senior a couple times, right? No, well, just once. Well, what what was the other event you won there? I won the Delaware Mid Open a couple times. Mid Open a couple times. Yes. So the Mid Open's a one-day event, so a little bit more of a shootout. Okay. Whereas the, the the Senior Am is two days, so you know one day you can get you can just get hot. Where two days you got to be a little bit more consistent. So it was a little bit more uh, meaningful to win a two-day event in Delaware, the Senior Am, than winning the Mid Open. Uh, and then winning this as a two-day event is also uh, is more meaningful than just just a one-day event because you really got to be good for for two days, which is tough. You uh, opened the day. Uh, you made the turn. I think at one under for the tournament. I did. Um, just talk about your front nine and, and how you were playing at that point. Well, I, I I got very fortunate. I hit a shot on the first hole to about six inches, so I had a stress-free birdie to get me started, which which kind of makes you feel good. Um, I hit a uh, a gap wedge, 54 degree gap wedge. Um, from, what, 50, yards from about, I was uh, 94 yards, but a little bit uphill, and so uh, not quite all of it. Okay. And uh, I, I was fortunate; it was six inches. Um, I had all pars on the rest of the front nine, and eight. I made a bogey. I hit a drive just a little left, and I had a tree in my backswing, so I chose to to not go for the green and. Uh, Ended up chipping my third shot to about 10 feet and missed that. That was the only bogey I made. Uh, I had a great opportunity on six, which is a really tough hole. I had it about six feet right behind the hole and missed that. Uh, I had a good opportunity on uh, on four. I hit it to maybe eight, 10 feet below the hole. So I had some opportunities. And then I ended the nine like I started it. I hit it to three feet on number nine. So I had a pretty, well, maybe it was even inside that. So I had an easy an easy birdie on nine, so I could make the turn one one under. Was that seven iron or six iron? I hit eight iron. Eight iron. Uh, at that point, you probably have some inkling that you're at least you're near the top, maybe not at the top of the leaderboard. You're just looking for pars, kind of the rest of the way. Well, I saw, you know, I knew I knew the guys I was playing with. They're really good players, but they were not having their best day. And when I made the turn, I saw that uh, Chip Lutz was was one over, and I was one under. And, and Chip's, you know, world class player, so he's liable to go two or three under on the back nine. So I, I just, you know, wherever I was, I knew I had to keep playing. And. Uh, um, so I, I just I didn't think about a score. I just said I just got to keep trying to make golf shots, and whatever happens, happens. And then you get to uh, 14, uh, where you make double, you hit four iron. You said in there, or? right? Uh, yeah, I made a double on 14. I hit four iron, and I sort of quit on a little bit and uh, went in the bunker, and it buried deep in the bunker. I, I couldn't even get it out of the bunker. And in trying to get it out, I hit it almost to the lip of the bunker. So I, I still had a tough shot, and I hit it to about. 12 feet and missed the putt, and all of a sudden it's a double bogey. Uh, but okay. yeah, I was gonna say, and then that so that bumped you up to I was two, two over, two right, over at, at the point. time. So you made another bogey before that. I had made a bogey on uh, 11. What'd you, what was that? I hit a four iron, uh, just a little short and right of the green, and uh, in the rough, heavy lie, chipped to about eight feet, hit a good putt, it just didn't go in. Um, okay. So that got me that. That got me on 11, got me to even, and the double bogey got me to two over. But and then 15, I, you bounce back with a birdie. Yeah, and you know it was tough on that swing on a 15 tee after you fan one right, when the wind is blowing left to right and it's a narrow hole. Uh, you know it was you know I really I really had to focus on that tee shot and I hit a great tee shot and only had uh, about 90 yards in, 
and so from 90 yards there's there's not a lot of stress and I hit a really good shot to about three feet and I uh, was fortunate to make birdie there. Was that the gap wedge again? That was a gap wedge again, yeah. The 54 degree one? 54 degree. Uh, Take us through 18. Yeah. So you parred 16 <laughs> and 17. So I parred, yeah, I hit a great drive on 16 and then I said, all right, I'm not going to hit three wood off or slightly downhill lie. It was borderline getting there and um, maybe I got a little conservative and, and just made a safe par. Uh, 17, I hit a great four iron to about 10 feet uh, you know, I didn't make the putt. And so I, I had a good sense on 18 if I made par. I saw after 13, there were a couple guys at three over. Well, to make two birdies coming in is, is sort of tough. And so, um, and I sort of quit a little bit on my drive. I hit it upright up in the pine, in the pine trees. So I had to chip out to about, uh, so I used a six iron to keep it low and chip out. I got it to 67 yards. Uh, hit my lob wedge about five feet past the pin. Uh, I had a little left to right downhill putt, and uh, I've been working on those putts, and uh, all the work paid off. You know, went in, and uh, and here we are. Gave a little fist pump after that putt. I did. Pretty. Uh, I did. Well, part of moment, right? yeah. Well, it was, and it wasn't just winning. It was making the putt under pressure. You know, knowing, and I knew, I knew at the time that I was one shot ahead. I knew. If I didn't make the putt and I made a bogey, I was going to go to a playoff. If I made the putt, I was going to win. And so, so to, to go through your routine and hit a good solid shot when you know it's very meaningful uh, is something I'm proud of. You know, I'm, I'm happy I hit a really good putt and, uh, uh, and, and that I went in.